Hey guys, it's Xcolaf here. Two months ago I released my entire interface together with my add-on package that you were able to download and get all my add-ons that I'm using. But since then I still felt not very happy with the way that my interface was looking when you're questing because it still has the standard quest string with a lot of text displayed on it that most of the people are not really reading anyways. So I started to look for an add-on that was going to replace my standard quest frame with a more modern and cleaner looking uh, frame. Now after searching for one hour I found the add-on called Immersion. And the Immersion add-on is basically a uh, replacement for the standard quest and gossip frames that we already have. It's also a solution to the wall of text that you never read without hindering your progress. Now besides that the quest frames are looking way neater and modern, the quest add-on has another very very cool feature. You can set up hotkeys that are completely customizable and you have even and you can even use your uh, number keys onto your keyboard to press specific gossip or quest options. So now that I gave you a little introduction on what the add-on is all about, let us now move over to the add-ons options. To navigate yourself to the options you have to hit escape, go to interface, click on add-ons at the top and then click on immersion. A first option is the general one where we can see two boxes that we can tick and also a slider. The first box is the disable automatic text progress. If you check that one it will stop the NPCs from automatically proceeding to the next line of the dialogue which is pretty much self explanatory. And the other one will basically hide your complete interface when you're interacting with a quest NPC. For the slider at the other hand you can set up the speed of the text. So what that means is if we slide it to the left side it will show the text much slower and if we slide it to the right side it will move the text way faster. To show what I mean I'm going to slide it to the left side and check how fast the NPC will display the text. The storm is my ally. So as you have noticed that was very very slowly. Now I'm going to slide it all the way to the right side and take a look at the speed of the text that will be displayed. So as you have seen it goes way way faster but I think that is basically personal preference. You can slide it to the left side if you want it slower or you can slide it all the way to the right if you want to have it faster but once again I think that is pretty much a personal preference. Next we have the key bindings and here you can bind the keys to automatically accept the quest by pressing my spacebar for example and if I hit escape it will close the uh, quest frame and I can also reset everything by hitting my backspace key on my keyboard which are very nice features to have to speed up the overall quest experience. Last but not least we also have a display option to take a closer look at. Here we have a slider once again that you can use to decrease or increase the global scale of the quest frame which means that if I slide it to the right side it will increase the size and if I slide it to the right side it will decrease it. We also have two more options but I'm not going to explain them since they are pretty much straightforward and also very easy to understand. Now one last thing that I want to explain is the usage of this add-on. So in short for accepting or turning in a quest you can either use a hotkey such as your spacebar or you can also click on the text frame. For choosing your quest reward you can hold down your shift key and basically select your reward. And in the case you are wondering if this addon works with the speed leveling addon called Cons Legion, I did the test for you and it works just fine. But anyways guys that's it for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Xkylife and I see you in the next one.